<laughs> are you a, are you a history buff? Do you study that kind of stuff at all? Uh, no, not really. I'm I'm an art buff, and I, I art buff. I want to talk to you about Rothko. Oh man, don't try and sell me tutti frutti. Oh, whoa, what? Say it again. Tutti frutti. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I don't, I don't even care if I get letters. I went to the Tate Modern Museum years ago in London, mm -hmm. and they had like, it was a, a bathroom shelf and like a, a glass of water, and the artist called it Oak Tree. And then underneath it, there was an interview. It was like, why is this Oak Tree? Because I say so. I'm like, ooh la la. Yeah. And it probably cost $8 million, and so I, I never went back there. Well, you know, it's kind of, have you seen Banksy's movie, Exit Through the I Gift It's on my Netflix. You've got it. You've got to see that movie. That's great. Now, I suspect there is a conspiracy theory that Banksy and Shepard Fairey put this together and it's all a, a hoax. Either way, if that's if that's true, it's even better. Right. And you really must see it. Because it is, it, it, it slices and dices uh, the idea of, you know, street art and, uh, modern, and the commercialization, not only of street art, but of all art. It's right. very interesting. Well, I just have a problem with a Rothko or like a Pollock. I mean... Whoa, 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 easy. Well, I can say what I want. <laughs> This is America. Yeah, yeah, but I'm the just Nazis saying, I'm just saying, Paul, Paul, easy on Paul. Well, Paul's a just, little different. But anyway, any sort of abstract art, I have a problem with it because I just, I, I know there's skill and there's like tonal whatever. I caramba. But like, I don't understand it. Like I bought a portrait, a 16th century portrait recently of this old lady and I was the only person that bid on it. It is beautiful. Right. It, and this must have well, taken not, hours and hours no, 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 and hours. No, no, no. I tell you, I tell you what I think it is. This is, as I understand it, and I'm sure you'll tell me otherwise, internet, but this is as I understand it. <laughs> That it was it was born out of I believe it was Duchamp right right um, who in the rejection of the impressionists was trying to reject retinal art right right and to make it more uh, cerebral art so he yeah. was saying art doesn't just have to be a visual experience it can be a more visceral or maybe intellectual experience than just something you you look at a pretty picture I know now I think that that you know if that leads on to perhaps uh, surrealism and cubism I think that that's 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 a worthwhile way to go my only feeling is abstract expressionism kind of like you make up your own rules and I kind of don't know if I buy it that's all right and then and then if you return to retinal enjoyment of it then it's all right oh look that's a nice blue thing Thing, then that's See, that's the thing, but the, the, the nice blue thing costs forty million dollars. Well, that's the croissant. Now that's a that's a different argument. That's a different argument. That's the commercialization of art right there. I mean, you know, did you ever see the Boyle family stuff? No. Boyle family stuff is great. And what they do is they look at like a, a piece of sidewalk, like with a little, you know, a, a, a potato chip wrapper and a drain, and they'd recreate it like exactly and put it on a wall. And it sounds like it'd be growing. No, and then you look at it, and you go, "This is that awesome." That sounds like there's actually. merit in that. Yeah, right. I just, I, I just don't believe it. I don't buy into it. I don't like it, and so I don't buy it. Well, you know, you, if you're going to spend your forty million dollars that you earned on the man yeah, in the high castle, exactly uh, <laughs> on Amazon. Yeah, on Amazon. January. Amazon's already, They don't just. What do did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? <laughs> the end of the show, I looked into the audience and I saw that uh, Richard Rice was here. Richard, um, it was a kind of coincidence you're here. Richard, tell the ladies and gentlemen what you do for a living. Well, I'm, I'm an art dealer, but I have to say I don't sell Rothko. <laughs> Let me, let me just ask you then, Richard, there's a well-respected figure in the world of, uh, of art, um, Rothko, abstract expressionism, what I said about Duchamp, is that true? Uh, yeah, he was uh, the first artist to do art uh, for art's sake and art by chance. So he started by climbing up on a ladder and he just dropped string on the floor and wherever it landed, he called it art. <laughs> He was right. 